last week on Attack You. In our relationship, I'm, I'm just dad. You know, I'm not Coach Stewart. I'm, I'm not, you know, a coach at OU. I'm dad. Uh, it's one of my favorite games. Um, you know, it's always circled on the schedule. I love playing against Miami. Ohio is a co-champion of the Mid-American Conference. And most of the assembled still hanging around to see the Nets cut. Well, I was excited for our team because I think when you play 16 games, you've got to kind of stay in the race the whole time, whether you, whether you won a game, lost a game. And I was really, really proud of how they played down the stretch when we lost a, a difficult game at home to Akron. It could have took a lot of the wind out of our sails, but, you know, we responded by winning the last three, and that's why you play 16 games because you never know what's going to happen as the year unfolds. And you've got to stay in the battle and stay in the race. And, you know, because of it, we were able to, to capture a share of a championship. Well, I think it's important to, to, to try to gain momentum as you go. We won three games in a row heading into this, and, um, and that's all you can ask to do. So, again, we, we understand the urgency with which you have to play with the importance of the conference tournament. Um, whether we won or lost last game is, is not going to really be important. We've got to refocus, get ready, and play every minute you know, the, of the conference tournament like it was our last minute. We're definitely going to have a, you know, a big target on our back. Uh, which is kind of what we wanted, you know, going into this tournament. Uh, we wanted to be the, you know, the top dog, uh, and I think we've done a great job this far, uh, you know, of getting to that point. So we're, we're definitely looking forward to the tournament, um, and, and our mentality has hasn't really changed as far as as our mindsets. But I think uh, the mindset of the other teams, you know, going in there being a higher seed, uh, we're definitely gonna have a target on back. It's gonna be interesting. I've never seen this format. I've never been part of this format. So I think. You know, the only thing that's positive is, you know, you can't lose if you don't play. I mean, because anything can happen this time of the year. Anybody can, can, uh, can upset anybody. But, you know, whether it's good or bad, you know, I let people debate that. I just know on Friday night at 9 o'clock, we got to be ready to play. Senior point guard DJ Cooper set several major milestones in his career. In Ohio's win over Buffalo, he recorded 2,000 career points, moved into first place on Ohio's career three-point list, and, most impressively, he became the first player in college basketball history to record 2,000 points, 900 assists, 600 rebounds, and 300 steals in a career. Oh, back over to the right side. Coop wide open from here to Chicago. Bang! And there's 2,000. Uh, I, I didn't even I didn't even really know what I had until halftime, and uh, you know that's when uh, you know coach told me congratulations. And, uh, you know, it was just, you know, it really didn't hit me then, you know. It, it, it still haven't hit me, you know, how big of the deal it is right now. But, you know, uh, it probably hit me when, you know, a couple years after I get down playing. You know, I just go out there and play my game. And, uh, I mean, I, I knew where I was at, you know, on the mark, you know, just because, you know, I, I hear about it and stuff. But, I mean, I know if I play my, play my game, you know, I eventually get it. You know, he hits big shots and he makes these amazing passes. and. It, it doesn't even wow me anymore, but I have to stop and think, and you know, all I have to do is look at a game or look at other people's stats and like, wow, and, you know, and I'm just, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to be part of seeing what he's been able to do. You know, he's a great leader, and you know, he, he does a lot for our team other than those stats you see, but you know, it's, it's a great accomplishment for him, you know. Uh, being the only person in NCAA history to do that, you know, that's a big deal. And Achieving some of the things he's achieved is, is, is remarkable. Uh, you know, the stat, you know, 2,000 points, 900 rebounds, you know, that, that no NCAA uh, player has done um, is, is, is just truly, truly special. So, you know, having him as, as your point guard, um, it's a huge, huge advantage for us, I think, you know. The things he's able to do on the court with the ball are just are spectacular. So, you know, playing next to a guy like that, you learn a lot. Um, and he is also, you can, you can look up to somebody like that and, and admire his skill set, uh, what he brings to this team. He's very, very important to this team. The icing on the cake? At the conclusion of the regular season, Cooper was named the MAC Player of the Year. Well, he's deserving of it. I mean, I think that, you know, you, he's had a phenomenal year and his team's won a championship in regular season. And I think that's the only, you know, the only, you know, part of the crown jewel he hasn't gotten is the regular season championship and player of the year he's gotten conference tournament championship and, and he's you know he's proceeded on to the NCAA tournament so now you know we've got to be equally as hungry to, to, to send him and the rest of the seniors and this team out the right way this year. Some players never you know finish playing all out but the four years but I mean you know but the players that have you know it's just about being you know being consistent you know uh, being healthy and uh, you know just you know bringing it every day. You know he's one of the most competitive guys I've ever played with uh, you know whether it's just a, a drill um, scrimmage and practice uh, you know, he wants to win everything, and I think that's part of what makes him so good. Uh, and, and so his competitive spirit, um, you know, bringing it every day, 
uh, I'm definitely going to try to carry that on, you know, as next year uh, without him. I think he wants to win the tournament more than anybody. I think he, if you told him, right, asked him right now whether he'd rather be the conference player of the year or win the conference tournament and go back to the NCAA tournament, I think he'd choose to go to the NCAA tournament. So I think that's what that's kind of player he is. It's kind of person he is. He wants to win. He wants to be on the big stage, and, and now he's going to have an opportunity to do that. With a bye all the way to the tournament semifinals, the Cats need only two wins to head back to the big dance for the third time in four years. First up, the Western Michigan Broncos. It's more important to take care of yourself and understand what you need to get better at, get guys you know, individually and collectively ready to play and, and um, you know, just feeling good about themselves. And you know, It's the first time we've had a chance to fine tune some of the stuff that we've, we've done and wanted to do, but in the, during the heat of the battles in the season, you're busy preparing for the next opponent. So now you get a chance, at least for a couple days, to just worry about yourself and try to get yourself better. Uh, we've showed a lot of tape, things that, you know, what we've done when we've played well, what we've done when we haven't, um, just so when we practice, we practice with a little bit more of a purpose, and just kind of fine tune some of the stuff we did, clean up some of our sets, um, you know, just get guys in a good rhythm playing. on the third seeded Western Michigan Broncos tonight. Ohio, one of these guys. Game two of Mid-American Conference season 2013 in Kalamazoo in January. The Broncos are here after a win over Eastern Michigan last night by 15 in the quarterfinal round. Ohio has won three in a row, including a share of the Mid-American Conference regular season title. The Cats are 23 and eight. The Broncos are 20 and 11. Ah, it feels good to be back in one of the Bobcats' home buildings. Ohio has won here twice over the last couple of years, 2010 and 2012. Finally, it's game night in Cleveland. It's semi-final Friday, and it's time for Bobcat basketball. It is game on at the Q in Cleveland. Now up to the top is DJ. 2,000 points in his career. Into the post hall, right hand layup, yes. TJ from a real sweet dime from DJ Cooper and the Cats have leveled this ball game at two. Smith dribbles between the legs. Now right wing Cooper, corner right, fall back on the way. Bang! Oh goodness, what a tough shot. 11-8, Ohio on top by three. Taylor behind a Keeley screen. Left side, got a man up, dry, split four, hand off Johnson, high layup, yes! Counted and a foul! 11.48 to go first half, Ohio 15. Western Michigan eight from the Q in Cleveland. Seven to shoot, straight on six. Now five, into the post, two hand dunk by John Smith. A little patience on a slip, low bouncer to the floor. Ohio on the rebound and here come the Cats. Taylor in between the circles. Pitch back to the point, it's Baltic. Raises, fires, and buries a three. Evo Baltic puts Ohio on top, 19-8. 10.43 to go for the first half. And here comes Ohio, the Broncos are 0 of 6 from three tonight. We need a timeout coming up. Cooper left wing, bang for three. Second of the night, third for the ball club. Cats up 14, 24-10, 7.54 to go first half. Into the post now, it's Whittington. Double comes quick with Smith and Johnson. Hutchinson, corner left three, got it. First made three of the night, they're one for seven. From beyond the arc, the Broncos are down 11, 24-13. Quickly corner right, it's a three for Walt, bang! Walt Offit was all world in the NCAA tournament last year. Perhaps he could heat up here in Cleveland. Cats back on top by 14. Now trucks into the paint against Smith. Smith poked in and got the ball knocked away. Cooper look away into the post off it. Lay up, yes. 31-15, Ohio's lead is back to its biggest on the night. Brown high on the right hand side. Blue pass Taylor like he wasn't even there and he lays in with the right hand. 37-22. Now he runs right to the painted area. Left side, Kellogg wide open for three. Book it. Oh, baby, the Bobcats are green hot tonight. 34 15 cats. 5 17 to go for the first half. 
time at Quicken Loans Arena in downtown Cleveland, Ohio on semifinal Friday night. All look green and white. But you couldn't envision a better start to a ball game than what Ohio has had tonight. 41-24 Cats at halftime. Left to the painted area now, Whittington right back out to Pokley. Pass took a while to get there. He would have shot if it got there quicker. Goes to the rim, missed a scoop layup. Rebound Paul and he banked it up and in. Western's closer than they've been in some time. 14 point Ohio lead, 43-29. 12.06 to go for the game, 47-39 Ohio. Right wing Pokely wide open from here to Kalamazoo and he buried the three. Westerns down five. Whittington baseline left for the Broncos. Pokely pushed off on Kellogg, no call. Now it's Brown right of the paint, fired up a shot and got it. David Brown. Mm -mm -mm. Getting too close. Corner right Pokely, blew past Kellogg. Into the paint, lean in layup, yes by Shane Winnington, and how in the world has this happened? Western is down two, 48-46. 10-13 to go for the game. Ohio's lead was 17 at halftime. Need a field goal, just three makes in the half. Ohio needs a shot. Cooper left wing, three on the way. Book it for DJ. Time for the best player in this league and one of the best players in this country to step up and be huge. He has 12 points, all on made threes. Cats up five. Into the post, Keeley against three. Back to the bucket, spins, fall back jumper, sat on the back iron, no tip in, yes. By Walt Offit. Hutchison into the post now, fall back, banking shot, no good. Rebound down to the floor, John Smith picked it up. Paul was confused, that was supposed to be a screen. Fly down the floor, back of the D, Cooper layup, yes. Left hand, right side, high bank through the net. 58-49, Ohio's lead is nine again. Dances in front of the arc, falls back. Beat Pokely, low block left against four, shoots it up, scores! Cabot and a foul! That's what a player of the year in any league is supposed to do. Behind Akili, screen, 10 to shoot, nine to shoot, eight to shoot. Skips it, baseline right, Smith. Long dribble to the goal, slams it down! Oh baby, what a big time take by John Smith! You better show that replay again. Timeout, Western Michigan. My goodness, what a thunder stuff by John Smith. Behind a high screen from Keeley, goes to the foul line, corner left, Kellogg gets a three, and he buried it. Oh, baby, what a big time shot. Pat 66, Western Michigan 54. Cat fan sense it. 125 to championship Saturday night. Power dribble to the foul line, corner left, Kellogg for three. Bang! And this ball game's done. The lead's a dozen. 69, 57, 55 seconds left. They get it to Taylor. Ohio breaks the pressure, and this thing's done. All Ohio has to do is dribble it out, and the Bobcats are heading on to championship Saturday night in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, listen up. Listen up. Great resilience, great toughness, because that's what it takes. Tomorrow, everybody needs to get rest today. Everybody needs to get a lot of fluids. Tomorrow night, we all know what's coming. Don't care what happened tonight. The only thing you can expect in March you play your butt off for 40 minutes, so you can play another 40 minutes. That's all that happens today. Every single guy in this locker room, get yourself ready to step up and play. We need everybody. We need everybody. 15, 15 strong. 15 strong. 15 strong on three. One, two, three. 15, 15 strong. Yeah, yeah. This is where Ohio was expected to be. 
on this night playing for this trophy and this invitation to the NCAA tournament. Rob, we expected to be here. There are always so many ups and downs throughout the course of the season, but it turned out the way that we probably thought it would turn out. No, it's it's funny. You look at Ohio's two great teams of the gross year, the 10 team and the 12 team, and you forget about almost the midseason collapses they had sometimes. This team, wire to wire, was better than any Ohio team in the history of Ohio playing in the MAC. After an amazing season last year, the Bobcats are ready to get back to the big dance this year. And yes, this rivalry, oh, there's been some animosity between these two teams. Yes, we say it every time, these two teams don't like each other. They particularly don't like each other on championship night. This Broadcast is going to be for... fun. 11 or 12 or 13,000 more best friends here. This just should be a good time. It's game on for the right to go to the NCAA Tournament. Ohio trying to capture its seventh Mid-American Conference Tournament title. Into the post, Marshall right back out Benton Court. Repost, low block left. Marshall shoots it up there and it's spun around and down. And the zips are on top, 2 nothing In between the rings, Cooper Marshall out on him. Into the post, it's Keeley on Treadwell. Steps through a banker. Yes. We're level at two. In between the rings, it's Cooper. Dribbles behind a Keeley pick. Give it to the screener. Long step to the goal. Scoop layup. Yes. Cats on top, 4-2. Now sideline right, it's Walsh. Post feed, Marshall up against Keeley. Banked it up and in. Counted in a foul. Keeley on the angle left wing. Drives into the post on Marshall. Scoops it up there and in. Reggie Keeley, six. Akron, five. Three minutes old in the contest tonight. High on the right. Keeley, head of the key. Gonna fire, gonna hit. Reggie Keeley has Ohio's eight points. Keep feeding Big Reg. 15-51 to go for the first half. Oh, yeah. Cats and Zips tied at eight. Cooper, middle of the floor, bouncer into the post. It's Keeley, turns on Marshall, scooped it up there, score it, count it, and a foul. Oh, big Reg, so large tonight. Ten points. We haven't even played six full minutes. Kellogg dribbles through five all the way to the rim. Banker, yes, he took on everybody and says, I got something for you. 16-8 cats, 12-21 to go first half. Straight on three off it, bang. And Ohio's on top, 19-12, 10.30 to go for the first half. Ohio hits any jump shots at all. They're way ahead in this game. Right now, it's already three possessions. Need more of that. Sideline right off. It decks it into the paint. Left-hand curl rolls. Yes. 23-14. There is strength in every part of Walt's game in this tournament. Offensively, defensively. Left wing. Post entry, Keeley back to the bucket on Marshall. Marshall right on him, and he defended him well enough, but not well enough at the end. Left hand flyer is good, set on the back iron and fell down. He has 14. He's 10 away from a career high, 27 20, Ohio up seven. Over to the left wing now. Back high on the left, Kretzer for three. Got it. Uh oh. He was five for five for three against Ohio. Second time around at 19 points. Ohio's lead was nine, it's four now, 27-23. And here comes Akron, still down four, 142 to go for the first half. Bettencourt shoots from the Mac logo and scores. They're down two, 27-25. Ohio's lead was nine, here come the Akron fans. Cooper at the top with six and five. Cooper bounces to Hall high on the right, splits two of the foul line, lane goal layup, and it rolls good! At the horn, oh yeah! Cats up three, 29-26. Ohio 29, Akron 26, halfway to the seventh Mid-American Conference Tournament title in program history. For Ohio, you haven't hit any of those threes yet. We said to win this game, eight or nine threes would be great. You've hit one out of eight. Your shooting percentage terrible there, but it's great at the basket. Well, Reggie Keeley is six of nine. You're darn near 50 percent from the field. Treadwell, Marshall, Walsh, Bettencourt, and Gilliam on the floor for Akron. Into the post, Treadwell against two. Hand off to Gilliam, snuck in uh, around the back door, and he banked it in low on the left. 29-28, Ohio's lead is one. Cover to the right side, Cooper jumps up, a pass, off it, drives baseline right, and he scores with one on the shot clock. Gilliam dribble handoff, low block left, shoots and scores. We're tied again. Oh, this is an emotional brew, isn't it? Here comes Akron. Hands it off to Treadwell, splits two in the air, banker, yes. Had a lot of spin on that shot, and it found the bottom of the twine, and Akron's on top, 35-33. Rebound, Bentoncourt. Left wing, Gilliam for three. 38, 33. And Akron's gone on a pretty good run. They were down by three at the break. They're up five right now. Yeah, Ohio got the lead to nine late first half. Since then, Akron 22 to eight cents.
39 points when they had 29 at halftime. Into the post, high banker, yes. Nick Harney, count it, and a foul. And they're slowing it up. They are taking time off of the clock. Benton court to Treadwell, drives baseline right, reverse layup, uh, yes, and it really hurts. Ohio's down 14, 56 to 42. So it appears Ohio is going to the NIT. And after all the years of knocking Akron for not playing the strong enough schedule, not doing enough things, this year they finally put it all together. 15 seconds left. Ohio has Keeley with it at the top. He's going to shoot a three, and he missed it. Long rebound, Treadwell, and that's it. Ohio expected and was predicted to win the regular season title. They did. Ohio was predicted to win the Mid-American Conference Tournament title, and they didn't. Um, you know, obviously it was a game of two halves. You know, first half, we shot 48%, guarded really, really well, played unbelievably hard. Second half, we played hard, and we just couldn't make a shot. I mean, we just, you know, it's unfortunate because we've, you know, we worked hard to get ourselves in this position and, and obviously didn't didn't finish the game out the way we like. The uh, NCAA tournament was definitely the you know goal, but you know uh, it's, a, it's a blessing to be out here to play ball, you know, uh, especially for a senior. So you know I'm, I know I'm going to cherish you know regardless of what, whatever we're playing, you know, in my last few games and you know and uh, now the goal is to get you know and if we're in the NIT, you know, to get to Madison Square Garden. While the result wasn't what the Cats were hoping for, 2012 has been a very special season. The senior class became the winningest in Ohio history. Evo Baltic and Reggie Keeley recorded their 1,000th point. DJ Cooper set a record never before achieved in college basketball. And most importantly, the Cats took home the regular season title. On Sunday night, the Cats learned their postseason fate, an at-large bid to the NIT. First stop, a cross-country trip to Denver to take on the Pioneers. One more chance to show the nation that this is attack you.